Zoe and I found a new tool. I saw it on the TikTok, so I wanted to try it out. Grandpa's tool. Let's see. Let me have this bit. Oh, you brought your ball out here. Let me see. Let me have the ball. No? Nice big root. There's another one there because there's actual dandelion. Hi, my love. You want to give me that ball? Let me see that ball. So, yeah. all this rain out here that we've had over the last few days it's made these weeds like very pliable what are you doing Zoe? what are you doing? I don't think I'd have to get so muddy obviously if it wasn't so muddy out here already I'm pretty sure that if I just opened it up, it would just fall right out on a regular day. There's another one. See how it gets that root out of there? I saw this on TikTok. I'm a sucker for buying stuff. I do hate the weeds that grow in the big yard, so. I did that one slow. That one grabbed a big one. That one grabbed a big old weed. Look at that. Yep. that one snap. Man, that's perfect timing to come pull weeds if you don't mind being in the rain. I'll have to do a double pick, double pull on that one. Because I can still see that root in there. Hi, my Zoe. Where's your ball? Wow. These roots are all jam together jamming on the one turn it around and I'm stepping on it right footed that's why I keep kind of twisting it just so you know oh. crow friends they're all we hear you're digging up some worms big one too. Holy cow. I'm a little excited about this situation here though. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a big worm. See it? There he is. Put him back in his hole. I can't believe you're out here in the rain. I cannot believe you're out here wanting to play in the rain. <laughs> Oof. She's gonna get muddy. He's a good girl. Yes, sir. You're the best baby. So he's the best baby. I hate crabgrass. Got it all muddy. That's just because it's muddy out here today. I can see more out here. And there's plenty of weeds. There's one there. Oop, there's another worm. Find your way home. Not the same worm? Sheesh. See, I can't pull these by hand, but this might be able to get it. See, look at that brute. That's a good size. I think that's a good demonstration for the day. I come out here when it's not so wet. Play in the yard some more. All right, until I circle back around with the new item that I found on TikTok. Cause you know, can't say no. See ya. There's so many lemons on my tree. There's a rotten one right there. And one's fallen and kind of just opened itself up there and one over there against the wall. Let's see if I can pick a few of these before the rain starts coming again. Look how big those are. I can probably reach a few more. is one of those ones that was a little deformed like you would make lemonade out of these ones as opposed to you know something like these where you could actually sell them in the market go ahead that was a good catch you can tell me
some of those I'm going to have to wait till it dries up a little bit. I don't want to sink in the mud. I need to get one of those ones that you can reach up into the tree and clip. But the branches on the lemon tree are, they're really thick. They're really a, a sturdy branch. So it's not like you can just pull the lemon and it'll come down. It will if it's rotten. See, here's one that's not ready to be picked yet. Can you see that one? There you go, still green. And it's funny because the lemon tree will uh, produce lemons. It's weird. I think the first year that I planted the tree, I got lemons at Thanksgiving time. And then it skipped that full year, And but I got lemons at uh, Valentine's Day. And then the next year it skipped the full year and then I got them on Thanksgiving again. And so this year, oh, there's Mr. Spiders. We just do that. Ooh, I gotta get this in the trash. You know what? That might actually be a cocoon. I should have just left it there. Gosh dang it. Could be a butterfly. Gosh darn it. I hate that I did that. I think I ruined it. I'm gonna have to throw it away. That makes me sad. Huh, it could have been a cocoon. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure how they how they do that. Anyway, back to the saga of my lemon tree. And then the next year I got them on Thanksgiving, skipped a year, got them on Valentine's Day, skipped a year, got them on Thanksgiving again. So this year, I'm gonna have to remember. It's a uh, Valentine's Day this year. It's pretty tall. A lot of lemons up there. This tree is probably at least 20, maybe 22, 23 feet high. I prune it every year. So come the come summer before the blossoms come out, I'll go ahead and take some of these old branches off. Let them come back in again. It's really full at the top. All right. That's my yard story for the day. Everything is pretty much waterlogged. It's going to be very well wet for the next little while. I read, um, I saw something, I didn't read it. I saw something on, I think it was on YouTube, I'm not certain. This is a Christmas cactus and it looks like it's kind of struggling a little bit. Read that if you, or I saw that if you put sugar in there it's supposed to help it so i think once it starts drying out a little bit i'm going to put some sugar in there and see if that helps i've had that christmas cactus for gosh dang 15 years probably if not longer i just took a piece from the one my mom had her at her house and uh planted it when i got back to california and then it, it grew but it looks like it's struggling i may have to take it out and kind of just take it apart and put new soil in there. Maybe that'll help. Well, that'll be a different project for a different day.